fuck have I been, right? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, you guys. I've just been superly busy with um, life itself. And um, I have not, like, forgotten about you guys. It's just that, like, I moved into my place. I'm living in a loft now with my boyfriend. And that took some time to do. I've been in here in this place, this loft, this for like uh, almost two months. And you know the process of moving from your old house to a new one and that type of shit. It's just a lot of stuff. But I'm here, I, I have a chance to make a video for you guys and I just wanna like talk about what's going on with me. If you don't wanna hear it, you could go go change, you could turn off the video. But I will be showing you guys some comics that I, I wanna um, talk about too. So it's not all about me, it's about comics too. So. Um, again, let me get back to what I was saying. I'm getting all like, ah. Um, I've moved into this place. Uh, this, uh, I'm really happy that I finally moved out of my parents and I'm in my own spot. It's, uh, it's kind of different. It's a different feeling. It's cool because like, I'm on my own slash not because I'm living with my boyfriend too. And um, that's another experience. But it's cool because like it's something that I always wanted to do, so it's not so bad. Like um, I just got sick of living with my parent. Like it's it's, and I lived with my dad and my sister. It was just kind of getting crammed, and it was ridiculous. Like I, I just couldn't do me. I couldn't do what the things that I want to do. So I just decided to like you know save up all my money and move into a loft downtown. And I re I'm I'm loving it because. Um, I don't know if any of you live in Los Angeles, California, but the type of job that I do is fashion-based, and downtown LA is the place that, like, it's just where I need to be right now, for work especially. And I'm kind of grateful that I could find something within my, my price range that I could, you know, that I could afford, so it's all good and great there. But um, I'm kind of bummed out that I couldn't go to WonderCon today. I know it starts today. Uh, I got too busy. I know I told you guys like some months ago that I was going to go, but you know how that goes. You just plan ahead something and then right in the middle of your plan it changes. And I can't really make Comic Con this summer neither. Like maybe next year though. I'm not that bummed out about it because I know it's always next year. So. And I also wanted to show you guys a couple of comic books that I was currently reading that I wanted to show. So the first one um, that I, I've been reading, it's called Mad Men by um, Image Comics. I bought this one like the ending of last summer and I didn't have the time to read it, but I've been reading it like in between like, when I, like breaks when I'm not so busy and stuff. It's a really good read, really good. It's a really thick book, so I'm trying to get through it. I'm like not even half through it yet, but it's, what I'm reading at, at right now so and I also want to show I know that somebody asked me if I own the crow comic book um, well the graphic novel I do own it it's the first graphic novel I ever got my sister she bought it and she gave it to me like years ago I think she gave it to me when I was in the ninth grade I think eighth grade or ninth grade she gave this she gave this to me and I read it like 10 times it's like a really good it's old school 80s style art and it's it's like really cool and it's a really good read back in these days when they made these types of stories they made really good quality reads and it's ridiculous because like you don't focus so much on the art like now you do as much as like okay for instance like art now with comic books you focus more on the art than the dialogue it distracts you but with this one, the dialogue, it jumps out at you more so than the art because it's all black and white. And like, I, if you guys seen the movies, you, more, you know more or less what the dialogue is. But I recommend you guys to find the book because it's a lot more, you know, they edit and cut down movies. You know, once you read the actual story, you get the full version of it. So I recommend you guys to get this one, the Crow graphic novel, old school one. It's all beat up and like, that's how long I've been having it. It's like super beat up. Uh, I guess that's all I wanted to say today. Um, I kind of wanted to do a video with you seeing my face. I know I've been, the last video I did was uh, a tour review of Bizarro. And um, I know I haven't been doing comic books 
been a while, so I just wanted to update you guys on stuff. But I do have comic books to review, reviews coming soon, and toy reviews coming soon, so watch out, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and Zombie Girl out.